Hey guys, Decap13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Double Survivor 2 Record Breaker. In the last episode, we finished off Day 5, um, and we learned from the Anguished One that we don't have to follow Yamato into creating his new world. If we meet with Polaris instead, maybe we can make one of our own. So with that in mind, let's proceed on towards Day 6. See what lies in wait for us. The sixth day. Friday's partings. You spend the night at the Gyps Tokyo branch. Hey dude, get up! Shut up! Come on, don't be like that. Your best bud's here to see you. <laughs> um, good morning. Oh, morning. Sorry to wake you. There's something we wanted to talk about. Did you hear about what Ronaldo did? What about him? Well, remember how Yamato told us about his meritocracy plan yesterday? I... I think Ronaldo must have heard about it. Because he announced he's going to defeat Gyps. He said something about how he wants all mankind to be equal, and not in a merit system. Yeah! He's already got a big mob ready to go against Gyps and Nagoya. I think they're gonna have it out. Ronaldo might win. You think so? This is Yamato we're talking about. I don't think anybody could beat him. We... We have a lot of thinking to do. Huh? About what? The future of the world. The world. It's such a huge thing that it's hard to seriously think about it. That might be true. But remember what you told us, Daichi? About what the man in red said? Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah. How if all the Septentrions are defeated, you get to meet Polaris. He said whoever does that can change the world to the way they want it. First, you have to prove that you're worth listening to, though. Right? That's the gist of it. At least we'll have to unify our group's opinion. I mean, up till now, we beat the Septentrions as a team. We'll have to give her someone's opinion, even if it's not Yamato's, right? We need to think hard about whether or not we can agree on something like that. You're right. That's the truth. The other guys seem to all have their own ideas. We've worked together for so long. I hate that we're fighting like this. I... I guess I can't say that if Polaris listens to the will of the species. We may have to fight. Do you agree with Ronaldo? Hmm. They both seem so extreme that it's hard to side with either of them. Looks like we need to give this some serious thought. Everyone has their own opinions. If we get the time, we should ask about them. Daichi and Eo leave. Hmm. Yamato and Eo, Joe and Makoto. Daichi, Hinako, and Odame. Hmm. Well, let's start at the top. Yamato and Io. You find Io speaking to Yamato. Yes, Nita? What do you want? Uh, I, I wanted to ask you something. Why did you, um... I've seen this for some time now. You are wise and open-minded, Nita. But rather, poor at relationships. It is a noticeable defect. Sorry, I'll try to keep that in mind. So long as you understand. Now, what do you want? Keep it brief, please. Wh why did you say those things when you know they could cause a split? <laughs> a split? How very amusing. I assume you mean my speech about the meritocracy. Wh what's so funny? You... You hide things from people. Make them angry and scared. How is that funny? Silence, girl. It is not required that you understand. Think what you will. Why do you say things like that? If you were nicer, people would be more understanding. I don't doubt it. That is how the world rotted in the first place. What? Rotted? Nita, you must be quite happy with the status quo. All your good intentions and sincere endeavors will never succeed over self-interest. No one takes the long view. 
Any civility man maintains is only to prevent the loss of social benefits. Those dregs are worthless. They rise up while the worthy are crushed underfoot. What is the point in such a world? To be a true leader, one must jettison the past that has built up like so much filth. If no one else will do it, then I must. I'll fight to the bitter end, even if I stand alone. But I... Uh, excuse me. Yeo rushes from the room. Now then, you're here, aren't you? Don't be cruel to Eo. Oh, is that one yours? Pardon me for saying so, but she seems to lack discipline. I can see the pawns have begun to think. Now, the question is, what conclusion will they reach? It'll vary, I think. Indeed it will. But regardless of what anyone thinks, I'll not waver from this path. No matter how desperately they struggle, only one world can be made. Only one world is worthy of being made. Those filth waste their lives propping each other up. If they cannot agree to my merit system, then I will gladly sacrifice every last one for my ideal. I do respect you. I won't force you to my side, but I hope you will consider this carefully. Yamato gracefully salutes before leaving. Hmm. Alright, uh, Joe and Makata now. You found Joe and Makata talking about something. So like I said, you didn't know anything about what old Yami was up to, right? No, but I followed my own beliefs. There you go again. It's okay to blame stuff on other people sometimes. Still, I did some terrible things to you all. Psh, whatever. You must go west, young man. Into the future. <laughs> Thank you, Akie. Although I'm not a man, and likely older than you. <laughs> so, anyways, what are you gonna do, Makoto? What do you mean? We know what Yamato wants, and we know what shape the world's in, so what are you gonna do? Um... Do you keep bowing to that guy, go to Polaris, set up his meritocracy? Or... Do you say, to hell with this, and leave Gyps to support a different choice? <sighs> Corruption and other evils could be done away with in Chief Hotsuin's world. Still, it doesn't seem right to bring about a society where the weak are oppressed. You're not gonna leave Gyps, are you? What? I mean, I... You owe them, right? You don't seem like the type who'd let a debt like that go unpaid. What will you do? Do you have any intention of siding with Gyps? <laughs> you know how flaky I am. I'd be the first to go in a meritocracy. That's not true, Akie. You're very intelligent, and certainly can be determined. Nah, it's cool. Let me be serious here for a second. What if we really could make a world where everyone was equal and helped each other? <laughs> Does that sound like a pipe dream? Maybe. There'd be no reward for doing your best. Egalitarianism. Do you plan to side with Ronaldo? I don't know. Who can say? I agree that helping out your fellow man is a wonderful thing to do, but is that the path to peace? You'll never excel at anything. You'll never be appreciated as you act selflessly. <laughs> That's the thing, huh? You got a point. There's problems with that system, too. You're likely to see people dependent on society and living off others' hard work. Even in this world, before the disaster, that was becoming a problem. I can't say those who never take any responsibility have the right to live. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, Makoto. I suppose I can't deny it. What to do? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Makoto and Joe notice you. Hey, man. Well, I guess everyone has a different opinion. Joe leaves. Uh, this isn't easy for me. Yeah. Even Akie, who's fought at our side this whole time, has qualms about our approach. It's not just him, either. It seems there are other Ronaldo sympathizers among us. At this rate, conflict between those of different beliefs will be unavoidable. If that happens, will I be able to fight? Ronaldo and his rioters are opposed to Gyps, but that doesn't make them evil. 
To say nothing of potentially having to draw my weapon against my former comrades. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone for a while. You say your farewells to Makoto before leaving. Oh, hey, rank four. Sweet. <laughs> All right, Keita and Daichi. You find Keita and Daichi talking about something. Seriously? You really think that? What's the problem with it? I mean, look at it. It's a merit system. If you can't contribute, you're out. So? The useless one should die off. It's more natural anyway. I... I can't believe I'm hearing this. No, Keita! Bad Keita! I don't got time to waste on this. Wait... You're worried you'll get cut off, aren't you? What? <laughs> like that it happened. I'm awesome at what I do. Yeah? And there's no problem. We're done here. Th that's not what I meant. I... Isn't there some solution where everyone gets along? There has to be another way. We've all been through so much together. That's creepy as hell, dumbass. Stuff like that ain't an option. You're getting on my nerves, man. You say you don't want to fight, but you don't have anything better. You keep going on without choosing sides, and you're just gonna get left in the cold. Meritocracy or equality, Daichi. Man up and make up your damn mind. Kato leaves. Kato, wait! <sighs> oh, hey, dude. You got rejected pretty hard there. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. I've really done it now. Kato won't even listen to me. Ever since Yamato brought up that ridiculous merit system, everyone's been acting weird. It's gonna come down to those who stand with Yamato, those who stand against him. The world's gone to crap, and now the survivors are taking sides. It's depressing, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. <sighs> I wonder what everyone really thinks. I'm not on either side. Yamato and Ronaldo are both way too extreme. Only... Well, you heard, Keita. Where does that leave me? Is everyone's enemy? How did we get here? How the hell? I can't believe we actually have to worry about this. I missed last week when our biggest problem was entrance exams. No, come on, this isn't the time to get all depressed. I gotta do something. If I could get everyone to agree on one opinion, it'd have to be a really good one. Say your farewells to Daichi before leaving. Hello? Hello? It's Yamato Hotsui. What can I do for you? My apologies, but I'd like to call upon your help. A surprisingly serious situation has arisen. You seem the best suited to handling it. Yeah, I'm honored. I'm glad, but my meaning was a bit different. How to explain? This is... This is something my personality would make difficult to handle. So this would be tough for you? And for the Festival Gate. You'll understand once you arrive. Call ends. Yeah, that's an optional battle you guys can do. You guys can do the God of Luck. But, uh, I, I, I don't wanna... I don't wanna do that one. Uh, I'll, I'll take a pass on that. Uh, so hey, Hinako and Otome. You find Hinako and Otome talking about something. I can't believe that freaking Yamato! That seems like a pretty common reaction. Well, of course they do something like this! Ronaldo and Yamato are both being obstinate! Why can't men ever give an inch? Now's not the time for some philosophical argument about merit and equality. Oppressing the weak and lazing through life are both wrong. We need a better way. Hmm, maybe. Still, wouldn't it be nice if everyone was equal like Ronaldo wants? Are you serious, Otome? It wouldn't be good at all! Wouldn't everyone be happy? I'd help you, you'd do the same for me. Wouldn't that make the world a kinder place? But, it couldn't happen. You know I'd risk my life for you, but not for random strangers. I suppose you're right. Forcing that on people wouldn't be right either. That's why things can't go on like this. We gotta do something. We're all friends, right? Why do we have to lose our cool over this stuff? Friends should be working together to find a way through whatever comes up, not tearing each other apart. You're probably right. Oh, I should be getting back to work. 
See you later, Hinako. Otome leaves. I still don't know what to do. At this rate... Oh, oh hey. What do you think we should do? It seems like no one agrees with anyone else. At this rate, we're going to wind up at each other's throats. That can't happen. You're right. Exactly. We gotta find another way. The void is swallowing up more and more of the world. We gotta hurry. We can fix this. You say your farewells to Hinako before leaving. Me and I, I don't even think I'm going to do Jungo and Ronaldo, just because I already have them both where I need them at. You found Fumi and Iri talking about something. What? That makes no sense. It's just wrong. Is it? Honestly, I don't care either way. Think about it. He calls it a merit system, but really it's just bullying. We can't let that happen. It's wrong. You know I don't care, right? Why do you continue speaking to me? It's not like you're the only one I'm talking to. His stupid ideas make no sense. As I've said, repeatedly, I don't care. <laughs> then you don't care if he sets up his merit system? Nope. Don't see a problem. How can you think that? I don't believe this. Look, I've had it harder than you think. I was poor. Paying my tuition was never easy. That's just it. Wouldn't it be better if people weren't rejected because they didn't have the money or the right circumstances? Isn't it unfair that not everyone gets the same opportunities? Hmm. I think that's a superficial view. What? Whining about how life's unfair is a loser's excuse. You'd be surprised what you can get if you try. Especially if you do anything to get it. I did everything I could to get what I wanted. Those who wouldn't were limited from the start. But... Opportunities don't exist in a vacuum state. You can't get results, you're a failure. What? Are you stupid or something? That's totally wrong! Everyone tries to live to the fullest. Even the people who don't have the talent to get what they want, they still try. You want to cast them aside unless they get results? There's no way that's right. Even worse, you just brush them off and call them weak. I could never do that. I'm done here. Stupid fool. Hmm. I seem to have upset her. Oh. Hello there. Fumi notices you. Want some tea? It's all I have. Sure, if you have some to spare. Alright. Give me a sec while I get the gas going for the burners. I'm sure you could hear her, but it seems the Chief and Irie's views are like oil and water. With no point of commonality, it's to be expected that they'll oppose each other. It may come down to there being no other way but to make them listen through force. It's a harder method than I'd like, but there is a time factor to consider. You leave Fumi to mutter to herself. What about the tea, though? Ah, uh, whatever. We, we, we can do the Jungo and Ronaldo event. You find Jungo and Ronaldo talking about something. Hmm. Uh, say something! If you don't speak up, I won't know what you want. Have some of this. That's good. Chowan Mushi? Is this some kind of message? No. It's good food. People are hungry, so they want to fight. <laughs> you brought this to stop me from fighting with Hotsuin? Yep. I understand what you're after now, but I can't do what you want me to. That's too bad. Why can't you be friends? Jungo, there's just no getting around some things. There comes a time when you have to act, even if it costs you your life. That time is now. Hotsuin wants a world where the weak are always under the strong. But humans aren't animals like that. I haven't lived this long to just lie down and accept it. We must work hard for everyone, while others work hard for us. And this moment, right now, isn't this the time to voice that idea loud and clear? Hell will freeze over before I bow to Hotsuin. I won't let this merit system spoil my harmonious world. I... I don't want to fight them. They're my friends. It's not right. <sighs> I won't demand that you agree with me. You 
have to follow the path you believe in. Jungo, even if we meet on the battlefield, it'll never ever be personal. Okay. I'm still sad though. Oh, hello. Ronaldo seems to have noticed you. I was listening in. Sorry. Oh shit. It costs me my life. Damn recording fucking froze and I just kept mashing the A button because I thought my system froze. Well, there's that. To realize an egalitarian society? Yes. I think it's the only way for people to be truly happy. Hotsuin is strong, but unless someone challenges him, light will never shine on this world. I will do everything in my power to bring about a world of true equality. Do you know how? I'm not stupid enough to pick a fight I have no chance of winning. Daichi told me how to get to Polaris. You have to destroy all the Septentrions to open the way, right? Then that's what I'll do. I'll stop Hotsuin's plans, no matter what. Ronaldo leaves, a determined look on his face. Alright, let's see. Okay, so let me just check again. Where are we with fate levels? We still need to get who to four. Uh, Yamato, Fumi, Otome, and Keita. Alright. I don't think that should be too much of a problem. Well, let's start with Yamato. Just save in case I fuck something up, which I'm bound to do. How good of you to come. I was expecting you. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. It seems you know why I am here. I have something I wish to discuss. You understand my ideals, don't you? You make a compelling argument. Clever as always. I want you. Now more than ever, I'll not mince words. Be my right hand. Your achievements leave no doubt in my mind as to your talents. With all your natural ability, how did you remain hidden for so long? It is not worth considering. It's because the old society was structured poorly. They forced mediocrity on those with true gifts and treat them as any other imbecile. Then they have the gall to call it right. That's the reality of the old society. Stupidity to its very core. You feel it, don't you? The foolishness? The arrogance? I do feel it. As you should. That broken society is gone. There is nothing blocking your path now. From now on, if you stay with me, your talents will be allowed to thrive. It is for your good, and the good of all the world. This, I believe. Think about it. I'll be waiting. Yamato gives you a hard stare and walks away. That should be rank 4 though. Yep. Alright, rank 4 Yamato. Alright. Let's try to get... I guess Kata next. You can hear Kata shouting from ways off. There's a heavy atmosphere surrounding him. Moron! How many times do I have to tell you you're in my way? <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? What happened? <sighs> Nothing new. Just this moron being a moron. It's... it's my fault. I wanted to help Kata, but I got in his way. Getting in my way isn't helping anybody. Damn it! I almost got clobbered because you stuck your stupid face in my business. Do your friends nearly get you killed while you're cooking or whatever? <laughs> if you have to depend on others, you're a fool. Isn't this the perfect proof? <laughs> Yamato's got it right. The strong survive and to hell with the weak. Listen up, Jungo. I never want to see your face again. You're wrong, Keita. What did you say? I'm sorry I got in the way. But you're wrong. 
You'd be stronger if you trusted your friends. If you can't, you're the weak one. <laughs> Look who just grew a pair of brass ones. I'm impressed. So, what you're saying is you want to throw down, huh? Kata glares at Jungo. Stop it, both of you. And how is that going to solve a damn thing? <laughs> Shove off. This is between me and him. Huh? You don't get it, Kata. Friends are important. Jungo runs off. Hey! Stop running, dumbass! What a joke. If he says something that stupid again, I'll beat the living crap out of him. You have to believe in your friends. W what did you say? I don't need any of you. I can be strong all on my own. Kata walks away in a foul mood. Someone calls to you from the roadside. Hey, what a coincidence seeing you here. What a coincidence. Maybe it was more like fate. I wanted to tell you something. When we hit the Nagoya branch, we found a set of blueprints. They showed a strange empty space underneath. Underneath the Metropolitan Building? The very same. That's why I've come here. My sources are certain. The Hotsuin family commissioned it. In which case, odds are good that there was some ulterior motive in its design. Come with me. Let's take a look. Good lord! What is all this? This is unbelievable. To think they built this right under the Metropolitan Building. Huh? Look at the floor. these patterns it's a magic circle yeah it must be something like that wait this looks familiar of course it's the Hotsuin families except it's ridiculously huge what could Hotsuin need with a circle this big for some kind of summoning that's it the Hotsuin family is known for two things the Dragon Stream and Demon Summoning. He must have prepared this circle to summon something unimaginable. Certainly. We are one step closer to the truth. Let's start heading back. We don't want Jips finding out we're here. Looks like we're in the clear. Good thing no one found us. Tell me about it. I'd hate to drag you into my feud with him. Anyway, I'll have my people do some digging into that huge magic circle. I think you should keep it in mind too. You say your farewells to Ronaldo before leaving. Alright, we got a battle. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Why not? Fumi and a flustered Hinako notice you and rush over. Ah, good timing. We were just about to call. A new Septentrion appeared. Supposedly it's around here somewhere. Right, Fumi? Mm-hmm. A Gyps agent was fighting it a moment ago, but reported it fled towards Ikebukuro. Hmm. We're on our way to support them now. Any details yet? We don't know much. The scene's in total chaos. Analyze later! We gotta catch it! Hinako grabs your arm and starts running. Alright then. Stupid giant monster thing! I'll bring it down to size! That's today's Septentrion. Apparently it's called Mizar. Keita! We came to help! Are you dense? I don't need any help. I can handle this by myself. What 
the hell? Huh. Ew. It came apart. The part we attack breaks off and moves on its own. And the new part grows immensely. <sighs> its regeneration rate is incredible. Crap! It's coming this way! Bastard! You can't just ignore me! What the hell? Stop splitting! I see. It splits whenever an external force attempts to damage it. Oh no! Everyone, look! Hmm. Damn it! Hey, don't you run away from me! Come back here, you coward! And demons. Damn demons! Stop getting in my way! There's an angel over there. Keita, no! We have to do something about these first! We'll fight with you! <sighs> believe I'm letting that stupid thing run just don't get in my way guys all right defeat all enemies we got four four little septentry oh mana stream Ooh, that's a good one uh, I mean death call is not really all that good anyway You all resist physical. I think you resist physical too, right? You need to fire, ice, and curse. Okay. All right, I want to do something first. I want to change uh, EO's team up. She doesn't need two people with fucking double up. And I, I really need to start making some new demons because these guys are a bit under leveled. <laughs> I'll probably just grind off screen. Alright, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna send Kato over here so we can beat these guys. Where's your guys' range? Oh, your range is two. Yeah, I'll have e EO take some out, too. And Fumi. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, EO can crack either one of these. Eh. It'll be fine. Actually, hold on. Oh, I can't do turn order yet. If I'm right, I believe Keita should go before Fume. So she can just switch with him. Yeah, Keita goes second. Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna let that happen. Attacks are fucking. Oh, great. I got a rely on GJ. None of my attacks can do shit to you guys. Although I should have just gone with Ziodine anyway. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna kill these guys. Oh, no, I did. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's funnel into magic now. You defeated a part of Mizar. Seems the small ones do not separate. Yep. Alright. Agitate. Berserk. Select dance. And just gonna multi-hit on this X tab. Oh you got berserk too. Oh 
Ooh, that was close. There's no position I can get into to attack both of them at the same time. So that fucking sucks. Agudan. What can you do? Oh, e e EO's team isn't much better off. I should have gone for Agudan on the center one. Now I can't do anything because he didn't get an extra turn. Now I paralyzed it at least. Oh well, I have double up though. Ooh, inherit plus. We never start to get plus add-ons. Those are really good. Let's see if I get to go before. Nope. Oh well, that's another one down. What? My team was really not prepared for this. Okay, for me. Oh wait. I don't even need to use switch. I can just use true phantasm. Move next to Kata. Then move on in. Which one does for me need to kill? The one on the right. Brutal hit. And attack. Ah, oh, shield off. Fuck you. Oh well, we got mana stream. It's alright. You know what? I'll set that on Fumi. Fumi can have mana stream because she doesn't have a way to recover her own MP. Instead of me hogging it. Because I do have drain after all. Alright, you're attacking from a distance. Multi hit on me. At least they don't have a lot of agility, so they don't their multi hits don't do a lot. No, you fucking asshole. You have to kill GJ. Good one. Good one. Good one. They all just had to attack the guy who drains the physical attacks. Cool. Yo, he did come to really comes in handy. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go with Holy Dance. Mow down, just in case they do what I know they're going to do. And attack. Oh, no, they didn't shield all for once. Oh, gee, what the fuck? Oh, like... It's so weird when this happens to you. One of my hands is like really warm, and one of them is just like fucking frozen solid. The fuck? Why do I do that? Oh great, you're using quick growth. Shit. Alright, yo, you know what you gotta do. Yo, you know what you must do. Oh, fuck my right hand. It's so weird when it happens. Assassinate and just attack, why not? Agudine should kill it. Huh! <laughs> no, 
Alright. So just take out the center one as quickly as you can. I didn't do shit. Again, that guy's the leader. Please don't kill Shishai. Fuck you, you dickhole. Ah, oh, jeez. Looks like I'm gonna have to have Fumi handle this. No, Kapua. Alright. I should have been having her do this from the start. Bufu and attack. <laughs> huh, there we go. Mission complete. Unlimited replication. Huh, that's troublesome. Yeah. Seriously, what was up with that thing? We kept hitting it, and it kept duplicating! There's no end to it. When we didn't hit it, it just got even bigger! The pattern has changed. Unlike the past Septentrions, it's like it's learning. Now, thank goodness you all got out safe. Are you okay? What happened to Mizar? Hmm. We exterminated all the little ones, but the main one got away from us. What's going on? Has headquarters made a damage assessment? And the report came in just now. This one is very different from the others. First, the main Mizar spawns small ones when attacked. It can do this without limit. Even when left alone, it splits off small ones over time to increase its numbers. Huh. So the big one divides naturally. This could put a kink in things. Worse still, the small ones grow into mid-sized ones before long. Then spawn more small ones. It keeps multiplying and causing increasing damage. The others are containing it, but can't for long. Are they trying to defeat the big one at the source? No, that's impossible. The more we attack the large body, the more small ones split off. Even if we could defeat it, the small ones grow too fast, and we'd be quickly outnumbered. No way! It's worrying, to be certain. Right now, all we can do is defeat the ones that split off. Even that's just a slow downhill slide. Our forces are limited. The enemies aren't. It's only a matter of time before we're annihilated. We won't last the day. <sighs> They're discussing a plan at headquarters, too. I hope they come up with something. The ship's agent leaves. Well, were you serious, Fumi? You don't think we'll last one day? It's a rough estimate, but extrapolating outward, Mizar will be everywhere by tomorrow. Can't we do anything? What if we crush the big Mizar in one shot? Hmm, what about a big-time demon? That's it! We can find a demon that's perfect for this situation, like we did with Shiva and Kama. I don't think we will. If any demon could do what we need to be done, we'd have used it. Demons are out. What about a Gyps trump card or something? A trump card, huh? I don't know, so I can't really say. Hmm. I found a magic circle. Will that help? The one at the government center? How did you know about that? 
Wait, you mean there really is some secret chip's weapon? Technically, but I don't think it'll be usable. It's under the Chief's control. What kind of explanation is that? Spill, weirdo! Is he referring to me? I've been told not to speak on that topic. Wait, you know what? You called me a weirdo. I'm not telling you a damn thing. <laughs> if the weirdo shoe fits, weirdo! Will you guys give it a rest? Fumi. <laughs> oh, that is it, you bitch! <laughs> oh, I love this exchange. <laughs> they get along so well. These two are always like this. I guess in a way they do get along. Hey, that gives me an idea. You get along with Yamato, right? Why don't you just go and ask Yamato? That seems a feasible plan. The chief holds you in high esteem. That is true. Yeah, we should have done that from the start instead of asking this weirdo. Oh, we're starting again. There you go again, squirting that tiny trickle of thought from your gaping oral cavity. What? You've got tiny thoughts. <laughs> Great comeback, Kata. That's enough! Oh, you two are so stupid! I'm not gonna waste my time. Smart decision. He was swayed Kata and Fumi's bickering before leaving. Oh. Uh, we're gonna end things off here. So, guys, next time, let's play Double Survivor 2 Record Breaker. Uh, we're gonna try to find some way to uh, beat this new Septentrion. I'll see you guys then. Bye!